Carly, just to kind of like introduce everyone. Um, I think we've been communicating back and forth like with me <laughs> as the middleman for a while. Uh, so it just thought this is a good opportunity uh, to keep touch. So uh, shout out on um, the Dow Gems team. Uh, she's the CEO uh, of the team and has been a very active like, developer uh, in the Chinese crypto community and beyond. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Alexander or Sasha uh, is our head of BD and Mimi is kind of like responsible for uh, the OWC initiative right now. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice oh. to meet you as well. Yeah, so uh, the purpose for the call today, at least like from my perspective, you guys feel free to chime in, uh, is kind of the first sync on kind of the timeline uh, on the, the, the DAO jam and see how that can actually fit into uh, the open blockchain way, uh, like I mentioned before, as well as for uh, more importantly, the OWC in the long term. Uh, because uh, things last Thursday, we realized that there are lots of requirements from OWC is actually super uh, similar to like the long-term initiative uh, for the Dow Gen or the underlying platform. Uh, so this is kind of my goal. Okay, sure. Is there anybody want to share the screen? Uh, I mean, I don't really have anything <laughs> that I want to share. Okay. But... Maybe, okay. maybe like if you actually have like made any updates on the development, if you want to like work us through a bit more. Uh. Uh, so the, the basic idea behind the dot jam is to use a more dynamic way to uh, to communicate with the Hudson online because the, the 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 previous way of the Hudson event, the judger can only. Uh, judge the, the 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 project at the end of the uh, the the competition. But we want to build a system that to uh, use some more uh, disruptive way to uh, set up this event. And uh, we we are currently working with the Bitcoin team to migration the Bitcoin personal token design document, which will be uh, basically uh, finish at the end of this weekend. And uh, uh, this is, is a shared a similar idea with the uh, Dow Gem. And uh, we are probably uh, launch the Dow Gem website uh, at the, the middle of next month. And uh, 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 it basically will be a project so that people can download their, uh, their project and uh, and, and the judger can vote to the project uh, through the QV, uh, the quadratic voting. Uh, Vitalik uh, write a lot of article about the QV. Uh, so uh, basically each judger and the, uh, the audience will have some of the token to, to vote the project, but uh, uh, you cannot uh, vote uh, for one, one, one specific project too much token because uh, the power will get uh, decreased. So uh, there is some Hedison event already use QV uh, in the Hedison event. So uh, for example, the uh, maybe you probably heard about So this is uh, President Hedison in Taiwan. And in this Hudson uh, online event, uh, the, the judge will use QV to vote to those projects. Uh, you can see uh, this is basically what it's like. So we probably want to migration a similar idea onto a more uh, a wide, wider uh, community so that the people uh, can, uh, can contribute to this event. Uh, Someone may be familiar with uh, the 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 Easter Denver. Uh, they actually uh, this year they use a different website to host the project. Previous year they use uh, the the uh, post. Yes, the dev post, and you can. But this year they uh, they use the uh, DAO stake. But the DAO stake uh, uh, seem. Uh, seems to me that is uh, quite a bit overkill for such a uh, uh, scenario. For example, if you want to vote to a specific uh, uh, project, you need to know 
uh, some some complex uh, uh, idea behind this uh, me mechanism. So we want to uh, simplify the mechanism behind uh, the DAO stake and to make it uh, uh, more uh, property for our Hudson uh, event project. Mm -hmm. So this is basically what he got. Uh, and uh, the project is probably around uh, uh, fifteen percent of the development. Uh, you can say this is a design design picture behind this website. Uh, so people uh, basically people can find teammates and uh, launch a project in the website, and then each uh, every every developer and and uh, the judge can vote to each project and uh, the, uh, there will be a leaderboard and sorting by the uh, the, the score of the, each project right. and, and i want to say judges you know, also mean just like uh people who kind of like viewing viewing the events like the audience they're also part of the judges right yes uh the only difference between judges and uh, and the develop uh, uh, audience and the judge will have more uh, more voting, tokens, yeah. yeah, more token yeah. to vote for those uh, different project. Got it. And I guess uh, the purpose of the the, the QV voting that that Vitalik mentioned uh, is is it just to like increase engagement or like, activity or. Uh, yes. Uh, it want to balance uh, the it from the. Uh, from some schema, you know that uh, one judge will uh, put all of his token to one project. So it want to reduce the cost of such. Uh, I see. Okay, so so this is more for like the hackathon itself, uh, which uh, I think like right now everything is uh, already on East testnet, right? Uh, yes. Right, and like in the long term, you guys also plan to make this into more like a DAO platform for like the yeah, hackathon definitely. project to, to continue and then maybe also possible raise funding through a DAO, right? Yes. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, so Sasha, do you have any question or like should I continue more on the open blockchain week stuff? I just wanted to see how, uh, what's your long-term vision for this. Are you planning to uh, this to be like sustainable business or is it more like a non-profit or like how, how, like what, what's your vision overall for the project? Uh, we want to migration it to the mainnet after the Hudson event. Uh, we, we are now working with the Gitcoin team about the future migration. So you can see this is the design document. Uh, so uh, so we want to build a, a build a platform that, so that not only every people but also the DAO organization creator can issue and uh, management and uh, 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 between each of the different DAOs and uh, the, those DAOs will be have some specific mission so to, to commit so this is uh, the basic design document of our future plan. So uh, in this document, we, uh, we, we want to first uh, to uh, finish the Hulu uh, technical stack in the Ethereum environment. And, uh, uh, and after one, maybe one month later, we will migrate to other platform if it's possible. Mm -hmm. So, Currently, all the, those token is running on the Ether uh, testnet. You can see this is the translation of the each voting event. So uh, our plan is first to launch the DARGEM uh, website, and later we will mig migration our backend into the Gitcoin uh, platform uh, the website and so that it can engage more and more people and uh, and uh, after that we will uh, redesign the website to make it uh, 
to engage much more audience. Will you focus on uh, Asian market or would you focus on a couple of different mar- markets for this? Uh, we think this is a long tail uh, environment for the end user. So uh, the end user didn't need too much knowledge about the blockchain technology itself. So that people can ensure and management transfer their token. Uh, even they don't know the, the, the detail of the private, private, private key or wallet. For example, uh, we have uh, uh, built a We have built a telegram boat so that the people can communicate with uh, those tokens. Uh, even they did, didn't uh, have the wallet. So this is an example. It reminds me of there is a service called Abridged, right? This, yes, uh, uh, you can see the document there. Uh, the basic usage is that uh, the user can add a state, uh, some of the, their token into a gateway contract or customize a new personal token uh, in a new website. So this is the result. You can see people can query and transfer their token inside the Telegram boat. That's and now cool. the transfer translation is success. You can see the transfer translation detail on the uh, in the scan. And so the 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 the, mm, the main idea behind this project is to engage uh, more general people who didn't have much knowledge about the blockchain technology but also can yeah. benefit from the tech, technology, uh, technology. I know you- so, so, go, yes. go ahead, Sasha. Oh, just curious, like, are you trying to make it sustainable business or are you trying to uh, make it more of a like, public good and rely on grants more? Uh, we, we probably want to make it in uh, a profitable business so uh, that people can, once they issue some token, we will make some freeze uh, from their contract. Uh, and basically, uh, in our design document, you can see that uh, the the profit uh, model is that we will build a uh, a website called the workshop. So every document, uh, the the application, we will have an application workshop so that the developer can uh, upload uh, any utility of the personal token. So. At, people can make money uh, in, in this platform. I mean, obviously, if you guys want to follow the Gitcoin model, uh, you can also just, you know, get sponsorship. We want to for, first like, uh, choose Gitcoin. Yeah. We want first to choose Gitcoin as an uh, experiment because uh, Gitcoin now has uh, uh, lots of developer and uh, lots of crypto native users. Uh, those, those users can uh, fami- familiar with the DAO uh, organization so that this kind of people will uh, be adop- adopted first. Makes sense. Cool. So um, I guess on our end, so first of all, um, like I mentioned a bit er- earlier, um, so it seems like uh, the Open Blockchain Week, which is going to involve uh, us, uh, Cosmos, Polkadot, and uh, Protocol Labs, is going to happen on May 6th to the 8th. Uh, and consensus is, I think, is May 11th and 12th, so 12th or 13th. Um, so easier way is actually the timeline is pushed, like, quite a bit earlier. 
Um, I don't know, like whether Sasha, you want to add more on kind of like the long term vision of like OWC. Um, but uh, obviously, like your entire platform is still on like ETH. Uh, I mean, we do have the EVM support, um, but sounds like like from our engineers' perspective, it's actually probably not going to be like production ready. Uh, definitely not like in the next 30 days. So it might be like would be buggy, stuff like that. So it might not 100% be the best uh, idea to run like a large event uh, on top of it. Uh, so obviously like long-term vision, like I personally like your product. Uh, I do want it to build on near. Um, so. Yes, I think the once we finish the whole technical stack, uh, finish, uh, testing on the Ethereum, it will be easy to migration into near protocol. Okay, sounds good. And what would be required from our end for, for you to uh, to do it? Like, what would be the, the most valuable thing for you uh, to do that? And also, like, how do we help you? How do we support you? Uh, I think the most uh, important thing is that the crypto, uh, we don't have much end user uh, except the traders, but we want to engage more content creator and the, the content generator users so that they can be benefited from the, uh, the token economy. Uh, as the document, uh, it remains some some, yes, it's some article from the A, A, A16Z and they have to do some research about the passion economy. And I think yeah. the passion economy will become a very uh, potential uh, um, scenario for this kind of application. So, uh, so that uh, any uh, content creator will link to the uh, 1,000 true fans through this total economy. So I yeah. think this have a long-term uh, user case. It's interesting timing because like last Wednesday, last week we were talking to the uh, to Lee Jun who wrote those articles about passion economy. We tried to engage her on blockchain. I think she didn't spend enough time there uh, until recently Andreessen Horowitz had a kind of Chinese wall inside of the company between uh, consumer weapon crypto so they were actually prohibited from talking to each other and so, mm -hmm. so like we actually at near protocol is trying to get legion who wrote these articles to start thinking about um blockchain as underlying platform for creators because in passion economy article she she's talking about kind of like tools that allow for better monetization such as Substack for blogging there are tools for podcasting and so forth and I think blockchain can bring a lot bigger innovation to creators, a lot more direct way to pay creators. Yeah, so uh, this is the Patreon. Um, everybody will be familiar with it. And now, nowadays, GitHub also have a support button inside their website. And yep. this is uh, the uh, This is the Chinese copy, uh, copy of the <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> So basically, they have uh, some uh, similar business model so that people will pay for the uh, the creator and uh, they have to unlock some content inside of their website. Uh, but uh, uh, they have some restriction. Uh, for example, they, are, they have some law, a uh, very high uh, fees so that the platform can make a, a profit. And uh, once you pay for the creator uh, and you uh, for the the user, you, you actually didn't get so much uh, 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 guarantee once if, if the, 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 the creator didn't uh, up, update any, anything, uh, you will lose your money. Uh, but uh, in, a, in a more free uh, token economy, uh, you, the, the thing is you buy some token from the, 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 the creator and uh, if the creator didn't uh, work so hard, we can also sell the token. Mm -hmm. So this will make a more uh, dynamic uh, patron.com uh, and more dynamic uh, uh, the GitHub. Yep. And no, the, for the uh, NBA game maker, for example, if you are a, a, a game creator, you can uh, upload your, and you can even sell your, uh, your, your game through your token, and that will be 
control by yourself and uh, no no you, your, your content will not be banned by the uh, the the application itself have you considered building maybe module for game developers for like into game developers to do like pre-sales of their games yet to be developed kind of with nft sales on the platform yes we uh, actually we have already did uh, one we have one uh you can say this is uh this is uh one of our uh per project is called game creator uh this is a uh, use for uh for the game maker so that people can uh can can have some web3 library inside of their game so that uh, the a uh, game maker can issue the NFT token inside their game. And you can say, uh, this is all the game that make by the community. And we will launch this uh, platform uh, tom to tomorrow. You can say, uh, tomorrow we will launch the, the end project. And this got uh, very popular in the Chinese community. Nice. So we will uh, build in a personal token uh, economy inside of this game creator tools so that for every uh, game, game developer they can be more easily to issue their uh, some ERZ20 token or NFT token as they wish. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Uh, I guess like what's some of like the action items or next step um, for you guys, Sasha? Do you... uh, well, so like uh, maybe like I can mention a little bit about Open Web Collective like long term. So we, we want to have investment component there, and we want to make it agnostic. Um, we didn't like fundraise before the kind of financial markets collapse. So we're going to wait until beginning of next year to do that. I'm sure that like long-term DAO would be probably a better structure than like raising from like venture capital investors for the investment component of Open Web Collective. So that's definitely one way to look at DAOs as actual like investment structure. And that's definitely something more like long-term as opposed to happening anytime soon. And then separately from it, I'm thinking that there is a like more like peer-to-peer -peer voting component here to use DAO not as investment structure, but more like as a like a kind of like voting or signaling component. Um, I'm not sure. What do you think, Amos? Do you want to share the design uh, you have, or? Yeah, I can I can share the design. I'm uh, I'm thinking the design that we're working on right now might be a little bit of a destruction given the, the team focusing on like kind of different things. Here, here in the chat, uh, I shared the Figma that's done by our uh, designer, kind of like for like online portal for the Open Web Collective. Oh, for some reason, I, I think uh, I think you're on mute. So, so do yeah. you want to share your screen? Well, I should, let me share it because I'll already open it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not not looking anything like uh, what you're working on right now, but it's it's more like me too of the website. I think to just add here, I think like the business idea you guys are going for, the tool you're going for is great. And I think like to Sasha's point, maybe our idea would be sidelining you or almost like contract work, right? It wouldn't be towards like leveraging exactly what you have, rather like a modification of it, which again, like you guys are working on the Dow Jam and for the hackathon coming up, like I'm not quite sure, again, this is for your team to decide um, how best that would fit in for your long-term plan. And I think maybe that's why Sasha has been asking like, is this a business or a goodwill project? Um, because the way we kind of want it designed is very specific in that like what Sasha said is like, there will end up being a fund, right? I think DAO is like the future state of what this should be, but probably in like, it's like future, future state will be a DAO, but the future state is like a fund. So it's almost like a little too far ahead um, for what this might be in even the next like 18 months. So 
I think in that spec, you guys should kind of think through like, maybe there's other ways we can plug you guys into this, but maybe it might not align with like, if you're trying to build this as a business, uh -huh. um, then your exact business um, objectives and how to design it. If that makes sense, if you get what I'm saying, we just don't want to sidetrack you from what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm thinking that like how, what you're doing right now is aligned really well with Nier is that in, in fact, we really want to start doing um, hackathons on a consistent basis. And I would imagine that online hackathon format is a lot better than offline hackathon uh, for, for format, especially given the coronavirus, at least for now, but like even, even long term, I think, the coronavirus is probably accelerating timeline for people becoming more remote friendly and starting to use online tools more. And so I think definitely we want to have online uh, hackathon format that goes consistently, like maybe like once a month or so. Um, but it's probably as soon as we like launch the main net. I'm not sure who's going to be owning it on our end, maybe Peter, maybe somebody else, but that's definitely something we want to be doing, essentially like replicating Ethereum global uh, category of events, but as, instead of doing it only offline, um, opening up it for like online instead and I think that that and if if we do that your platform is actually like a really good fit for that that kind of program right I mean like for OWC's perspective uh, if you guys can see my screen so they, they do share lots of like feature similarity obviously the design is very different I yes. mean there's a dashboard there's like profile for the project I mean it's also voting so it's the exact same feature for uh, the Dow gem not necessarily the Dow par uh, you probably also require leaderboard and task. Um, yeah, but I mean, obviously, uh, this is, is great, but it's going to be kind of weird that the Open Web Collective, which is kind of near focus, uh, is actually running on East Testnet <laughs> or like Ethereum. I mean, that. Yes. Um, so, so, so I would say, like, to really like collaborate uh, and be part of like the Open Web Collective, whether it's short term or long term, uh, having it built on near is kind of like a hard requirement. Yes, we will decouple from the Ethereum once we get the whole things uh, yeah. uh, get the work through. And uh, mm -hmm. for me, I I believe the, uh, not only the Open Web Collective and also the Gitcoin and the Dot Gem, all the all those uh, websites or specific application will share a, a, a same backend uh, contract structure so that uh, the token can uh, can fit uh, for different. Uh, environment yeah i mean like i'm not trying to just you know pitch near but <laughs> i think actually building on near does give you some stuff like a unique advantage because if you're on east i mean there's kind of like gitcoin and also meta meta cartel is also built on east and by the way they might be part of the open web collective uh as long like so it's gonna be like near um maybe like meta cartel and like web3 uh, so they're gonna be like three track um and obviously, a lot of things that you're trying to do will actually be thinking the same, you know, like for usability uh, for the end user. So like really hide the crypto component uh, away from it uh, is actually already being done uh, through our like wallet uh, as well as like our partner wallets that's going to happen like app token, etc. cetera. Um, so just something to think about more in the long term. Sure. Okay. Cool. So I think I kind of covered it out. Um, maybe like Shadow, you and you and me can chat a bit like offline, um, a little bit more uh, about like the hackathon. Um, but once again, like if you guys want to be part of like the the Open Web Collective or consensus, uh, the shipping timeline is gonna be moved like a lot earlier <laughs> than before. So it's, it's 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 almost like you guys need to ship something that's like closer to like the production release in the next two weeks. Uh, before the full event or maybe like next three weeks uh, because the actual event is going to happen either on the first week sure. uh, of May or the second of May. Yeah. I think it's uh, possible. Okay. Cool. Do you guys have any other questions, Sasha? No, I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys go. Uh, and Shana, do, do you want to chat a bit more about the hackathon in that case? note okay all right cool all right thank you guys awesome right. thanks everyone thanks for taking the time guys to show us down jam yep bye bye, -bye.